All right, I'm out here. It's kind of early, but well, you know, I would get up early anyhow to do the show. That is the giant screen uh, that they have set up just outside the Huntington Center. Now, if you saw any coverage yesterday, you saw that there were people here early uh, already yesterday afternoon. We're going to talk to one of them in just a second. This is the maze that you will be walking through later this afternoon, all right? But uh, you'll have food. I see the Rosies and the uh, Dietz barbecue truck already set up. The uh, Trump Bridge, or whatever the official Trump name is, we'll find out in a second. Trump Unity Bridge is just around the corner. You're going to hear a version of the YMCA throughout the morning once they get that thing fired up. The very first person in line is this young lady right here. Hi. How are you this morning? <laughs> I'm doing great. What's your name? Christina Fitchett Hickson. All right, and you're actually from around the Flint, Michigan area, right? Yes. All right, we have, we have a lot of people from the Flint, Michigan area. Oh, down. cool, actually, really? Actually, one of the guys I used to work awesome. with uh, comes from that area. Well, then um, they probably started hearing about me already then. Well, now why is that? You said you're running for office, huh? Yes, I'm running for the U.S. representative position of the 5th District. Okay. And, and who's the who holds that seat right now? Right now, it yeah. is Dan Kildee. And right. the Kildees the have had it Dan? for a long time. <laughs> oh, he's like our Marcy Captain then. He's yes. been there for a while. Yes, he's been in there for a few terms. Okay. Well, Dan just... I don't know. I think people are just not really satisfied with the job he's doing, yeah. especially since he's not uh, working with our president very well. Okay. And we're really looking for people, at least in our area, we're looking for people who are actually going to help support our president because we think that he's doing a pretty good job here with our state. Well, let me ask you because I used to go up to Flint all the time. I had okay. my brothers, my dad's brother actually lived in Flint, worked for Buick. Oh, okay. Um, so I know the area pretty well. I used my to dad go up did there too. Every single Buick year. Buick City, right? And they've really fallen on a lot of hard times. I mean, yeah, we have. Close to everything else. Has anything that, that President Trump has done? Have you seen? Oh yeah. Anything yet that that's helped Flint out? I mean, yeah. we know down here we followed them. In fact, the, the radio station did a. <laughs> Cool. They did a water raiser for them when they were having their water crisis. Right. So we know they've fallen on hard times. Right. What things have you seen change in the last three years? Um, well, so far, the first thing that we noticed was that our GM came back. Okay. It reopened and a lot of people got their own jobs back. Great. Uh, well, some people didn't, but that's okay because yeah. they moved on to other things. Mm -hmm. But um, they're able to hire people. They're hiring people right out of high school. Terrific. So, and that's people who didn't even finish high school. So, oh. they, I mean, they are actually hiring the people that they used to hire before when they first began. <coughs> right. So you can see that they're not desperate. Okay. And so, you know, <coughs> and you can see that, that people aren't, it was like not, tons of people waiting to get in either. Mm -hmm. We have so much employment that even GM is not having uh, <laughs> luck finding people to work for them. They're still hiring and trying to find people. Now you spent the whole night out here. You're, yep. you're the very first one in line. Yep. Um, you're not going to be able to carry much in. They released the list yesterday. That's you, right. You didn't bring a toaster with you, did you? No toasters. No toasters no. inside the building, they said. That was no. on the official list. I don't know why they <laughs> included it. But apparently no toasters. So I know I have to laugh at their list. <laughs> it is. The list is hilarious. All right. So tell me, uh, give me your website so um, people listening and uh, watching on iHeartRadio yeah. all across the country can follow you if they wish to. Um, if you want to follow me, the best way to find me is I am Christina, former Flint teacher for Congress. Christina, former Flint teacher for Flint Congress. Teacher for Congress. And then you'll find my website because my website okay. is electchristinafitchethixon.com. Right. Well, you're running for office. That's that's yeah. a lot. That's a lot of spelling. Hey, for, Christina. Uh, yeah, I know. That's why I do the former yeah. Flint teacher part. <laughs> former Flint teacher for Congress. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, and you're good welcome. luck getting in this morning. This gentleman you. came all the way from Cleveland. He's uh, yeah. he's selling the Toledo Streets mm -hmm. newspaper this morning. Mm -hmm. You've been out here. She got here first, though, right? Yeah. Uh, I've been going around. Um, Actually, I was here earlier when they were setting up, yeah. and actually, I actually shook. Uh, I talked to some Secret Service, you know. Oh, I actually you? shook their hand, you know. I actually, um, I know Mike DeWine well, well, the governor. Yeah, uh, he's now, good friends. At this point, you're homeless. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people say, well, "What is a homeless guy doing at the Trump rally?" You know, well, why do you um, 
Honestly, when I was, before I was homeless, mm -hmm. I voted for Trump. Okay. And basically, I, I listened to my dad a little bit, but um, basically, I've seen a difference. Okay. Um, um, Trump has, I've seen the difference how people are working, you know, their jobs working, mm -hmm. like their jobs. Um, I like his foreign policy. Okay. We haven't had a foreign policy, uh, a strict foreign policy president in a long time. Okay. Um, well, listen, I, I, hopefully things will turn around for you too real mm -hmm. soon. I know you're working with the Toledo Street, so mm -hmm. if you see this gentleman out here today, Grab one of those newspapers. You guys know how it works. You've heard me talk about it on the air before. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. This Welcome, morning, sir. Yep.